five, four, three, two, one. The cave environment can be so interesting because it serves as a terrestrial analog to any extraterrestrial surface, for example, and, and, and the most correlated surface is the Mars. The cave rocks are constantly reacting with the water that is seeping through. The reaction generates ions on which the microbes thrive. So essentially, this is a, a very much like a connected picture as the, the rock composition, the water composition, and the microbial composition. If we understand those three, I think those three are the most important science questions that we are trying to answer here. These factors can be really well documented by uh, a moving rover. The tiny spaces through which uh, a rover can go is very limited. I mean, having the robot to cross quite a bit of an uneven surface and then go in a very small crack, for example, and clinging to the walls of the caves as they're walking through and map many different parameters. That technology uh, definitely takes many years to be, to be developed. So this is a starting point of such. Uh, the science and the operations, I think they are now commingled in this grand project to understand this process. So it's not just the science that how these minerals can form, what are the biosignatures like. Definitely these science questions are important, but I think it's more important as the technology to deliver such, such science in a very closed environment like a cave.